On December 3rd, I got this email. I didn't have an event, but wait, I had a birthday in two weeks. Wouldn't it be great to invite 20 artist friends to each submit a sample of the work they've been doing during this COVID year? So I clicked the Get More Info button, and two frantic weeks later, here it is. Will there be a day we look back on 2020 and forget what it actually felt like? Some of us won't have that chance because others didn't believe there was a problem. We have it under control, they said. One day, like a miracle, it will disappear. Who's being patriotic now? The Akron Art Museum decided to tackle COVID by trying to connect people with postcards. They commissioned Cleveland artists Laura and Gary Dumb to create this postcard titled, Who Was That Masked Person? I want to thank them. Gary loves comics and Laura loves color, so they make a great team. Here they combine to create a simulated comic book cover as a fundraiser for Genghis Khan, an independent comic book art convention that's held annually in Cleveland, but not in 2020. Artist Gene Henniger says, This year I was introduced to an enameling process for fused glass. After experimenting with colors and patterns, I started thinking of using the glass pieces the same way you might use pattern cloth or paper. This face is the first in what will hopefully become a series of faces, and who knows what else. Here's Gene's description of this clay mask. This mask surface was created using a wax resist on a 20% grog clay body. It produced a very textured effect. I hadn't thought about how much the grog would come to the surface when I started, but liked the results enough to use again. I love it when I can interact with an artwork that brings me into that space of discovery. There's something you can connect to, but you don't know exactly where you are or how to regain your footing. In time-based arts, it's constantly changing in front of you as you're experiencing it, as is life. COVID stopped us in our tracks. There can be no turning back. Not going back to normal. Let's build back. Better build back better. For many years, I've been studying ceramics with the idea that one day I would get my own studio and become a real ceramic artist. This summer, I moved into a house with a garage and the garage is now being turned into a studio. Hopefully, very soon, I'll be able to pull out my wheel and begin to throw. Hi, this is Steve Wagner. Um, the double portrait was taken at Edgewater Park at different times. Um, both couples asked me to take their picture, and I was more than happy to comply. The only direction given was to get their heads as close together as possible. My name is Ariel Clayton Karras. I'm a violinist and founder and director of Opus 216. During the pandemic, lots of folks got to know us through our front yard concerts. We did over 90. Uh, as the weather's turned colder, we're doing pay what you can Zoom concerts, no questions asked, as a way to just keep connecting people with live music. Hi, my name is Tatiana Von Tauber. I am an artist living in Savannah, Georgia. Um, most of my artwork is figurative news, and I focus on erotic and central art themes for lovers and couples. It's been nearly a year since my last photo shoot for my At Home in Their Own Skin project. COVID has made personal encounters like photo shoots, which are the joy of the project, feel dangerous. So now I'm working with images I already have on hand, in this case, a self-portrait. Here's another example of me working with images that I already have on hand. In this case, one from 1998 and the other from just a few months ago. This one is titled, You and Me. I'm 
artist Janet Dodrell. Since COVID, I have sketched with Urban Sketches Cleveland and in online life drawing sessions around the globe. From theme sessions like Matisse, Rembrandt, Rocky Horror, and performance art to animal life drawing. And a healthcare workers portrait project for Metro. And hashtag portraits for COVID heroes on Instagram. <laughs> Burning is a photo illustration inspired by the fires out west this fall. So much has been destroyed. Homes, lives, birds, and other wildlife are in peril and losing habitat. Most of the elements here are self-explanatory. The embedded metal pieces, however, represent mankind's consumption. It's coming on Christmas, cutting down trees, they're putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river I could skate away on. I want to wrap things up today with something to put the year in perspective for me. It has been a magically difficult and gifted year. Magically difficult and gifted. It all depends on how we look at it. 